Let's take a look at Photopad's layout, which will help you maximize how you use it in your workflow to edit your images. The program opens up on the Home tab, which has everything you need for basic photo editing. In the toolbar, you'll find buttons for quick access to the most common actions used in Photopad, such as adding and saving files, cropping, adjusting the contrast and exposure of your image, and removing red eye. When you open an image in Photopad, you will see it in the Canvas viewer and also as a thumbnail image at the bottom of the screen in the thumbnail browser. To the right of the Canvas viewer is the Effects History and Layers panel. In this panel, you can view your original file, any edits that you have made, and effects that have been added. This is where you can edit effect settings, rearrange the layers with drag and drop, delete an unwanted change, or revert to your original image. At the top of the screen, there are additional tabs for more advanced options. The Edit tab contains your clipboard, resizing, rotating, and cropping tools. The Color tab allows you to adjust the brightness, contrast, and exposure of an image, as well as the saturation, hue, tint, and color temperature. The Color tab also contains common color changes such as sepia and grayscale. The Effects tab applies an artistic layer to your image. You have options such as reducing noise from a photograph that was taken in low light or turning your photograph into a masterful oil painting. The Tools tab is where you add other elements to your photo. You can add text, draw on your photo, stitch a panorama together, or add a frame as a final touch. You also have the option to share your photo via email, Flickr, or Facebook from this tab. Finally, the Suite tab gives you access to more NCH software programs that are related to graphics. For a free trial, just click a program in the toolbar. For more Photopad tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.